Welcome to a little Faith and Action production. Today we are skating through the frozen glacial lake that was actually a glacier when I was a kid. And for the faith I'll be reading some psalms from the main Bible I use called The Scriptures by the Institute for Scripture Research. This is a literal translation that keeps us close to the original Hebrew origins of God's Word, His people, their language, and their culture. I find no reason to transliterate the original names of people like Yeshua, the Messiah, who was probably never once called Jesus in his life. Or like the Tetragrammaton, which is a funny name given to the four Hebrew consonants, yod heh vav heh which is what has been left of Almighty Father God's actual name after the Jewish religious leaders removed the vowels from the proper Hebrew spelling of his name because they piously deemed it too sacred for the average person to pronounce. The name that is used over 6,000 times in the Bible has been reduced to the generic title of Lord by most translations today when in recent years, there have been discovered almost 2,500 ancient Hebrew documents found to have, have the full name of Jehovah with all the missing vowels. I am a Torah-observant Christian. I keep the commands of Elohim. And the Torah is another concept lost in translation. Torah actually means instructions, whereas it is translated as law and treated as something so stringent and harsh that it is so impossible to keep that it was never intended to to be kept and therefore you don't even need to try. Jesus kept the law for us so we don't have to so go on eat drink and be merry. It's absolutely ridiculous. Psalm 58 Would you indeed speak righteousness in silence? Do you judge straightly you sons of men? No, in heart you work unrighteousness. On earth you weigh out the violence of your hands. The wrong have been estranged from the womb. These who speak lies go astray from birth. Their poison is like the poison of a snake, like a deaf cobra that stops the ear, so as not to hear the voice of whisperers or a skilled caster of spells. O Elohim, break their teeth in their mouth. Break out the fangs of the young lions, O Jehovah. Let them melt, let them vanish as water. Let him aim his arrows that they may be cut down, like a snail which melts away as it moves, like a woman's stillbirth. Let them not see the sun. Before your pots feel the thorns, whether green or ablaze, he sweeps them away. The righteous rejoices when he has seen the vengeance. He washes his feet in the blood of the wrong. And man says, truly the righteous are rewarded. Truly there is an Elohim judging in the earth. Psalm 59 Deliver me from my enemies, O my Elohim. Set me on high from those who rise up against me. Deliver me from the workers of wickedness, and save me from the men, from men of blood. For look, they have lain in wait for my life. Mighty men assemble against me for no transgression or sin of mine, Yehovah, for no guilt of mine. They run and prepare themselves, awake to help me and see. And you, Jehovah, Elohim of hosts, Elohim of Israel, awake to punish all the nations, show no favor to any wicked traitors, Salah. They return at evening, they howl like a dog, and go around the city. See, they belch out with their mouth, swords are in their lips, for who is listening? But you, Jehovah, laugh at them. You mock all the nations. O oh, my strength, I wait for you, for Elohim is my strong tower. My Elohim of loving commitment, Elohim does go before me. He lets me look upon my enemies. Do not kill them, lest my people forget. Scatter them by your power, and bring them down, O Jehovah, our shield. The sin of their mouth is the words of their lips, and they are captured in their pride, and for the cursing and lying they utter. Bring them to an end in wrath, bring them to an end, that they be no more. And let them know that Elohim is ruling in Jacob, to the ends of the earth, Salah. And at evening they return, they howl like a dog, and go around the city. They wander up and down for food, and wine if they are not satisfied. And I, I sing of your power, and in the morning I sing aloud of your loving commitment. 
for you have been my strong tower and a refuge in the day of my distress. O oh, my strength, to you I sing praises, for Elohim is my strong tower, my Elohim of loving commitment. Psalm 60 O oh, Elohim, you have rejected us, you have broken us, you have dis been displeased. Turn back to us. You have made the earth tremble, you have broken it. Heal its breaches, for it is shaken. You have let your people see hardship. You have made us drink the wine of trembling. You have given a banner to those who fear you, that it might be lifted up, because of the truth, Salah, that those you love might be rescued. Save with your right hand and answer me. Elohim has spoken in his set-apartness. I exult, I portion out Shechem, and measure out the valley of Succoth. Gilad is mine, and Menasha is mine, and Ephraim is the defense of my head. Yehuda is my inscriber. Moab is my washpot. Over Edom I cast my shoe. Shout aloud, O Philistia, because of me. Who would bring me to the strong city? Who shall lead me to Edom? Have not you, O Elohim, rejected us? And you do not go out, O Elohim, with our armies. Give us help from distress, for the help of man is not. In Elohim we do mightily, and he treads down our adversaries.